it's me sailor venus here mina here and today i'm going to make a film talking about where i came from now some of you folks out there might say amazon you might say ebay would be your first answer and you would be wrong on both of those answers i came from the salvation army or the helping fighting arm now this would have been somewhere in February of 2012 YL so don't hold it to me because that was like so many years ago so I was in a box alright we are I made a film talking about that so I don't talk about it anymore alright so um all right, so there are some, all right, what am I getting going with this? All right, so a long time ago, I used to get, a long time ago, there used to be a lot of hate. And I'm not talking about the hate that the Sailor Moon followers have for Deke and Cloverway and Pioneer and stuff like that. I'm talking about the hate that Dwayne used to get for coming on and doing this. You see, from 2008 YL to at least 23rd between YL, Dwayne would get bullied and picked on and made fun of every day by folks that A, he never knew, B, never did anything to, and C, well, they weren't, they weren't followers of the show. They weren't watchers of the show either. And there had to be some sake or why or ground for all of it, but it never came up. It never did come up. Now, some folks out there might say that it's a unlike a thought. Well, if it was a unlike a thought, then wouldn't these men or women be, you know, grown up enough to say, well, I don't like it, and it's not for me and just go somewhere else but no a lot of these you know grown up folk weren't that grown up in the head to do that and some folks will say oh well it was kids and tweeners it wasn't kids and tweeners you know some of the folks that did the, the bullying and the picking on and then the making fun of and the putting down were grown up. Folks that you believe would be past that stuff. Folks that would have been, had the wisdom to not say it, even if they didn't like what they were watching or seeing. But sadly, they did not. You know? And, th and it would be like, first it would be like mean words written on the film hateful stuff written on the fairway and it would be every day and then it went up you know then some folks you know I guess out of luck or just you know whatever got lucky and then around 2010 YL was the hack job the hack work which to this day we'll never know how it happened and everyone's going to have their thought and belief over it Oh, the overtake, overstep word that you worked was weak. Well, if that was true, then it wouldn't have taken them more than it wouldn't have taken them almost a whole, it would not have taken them almost a whole year and a half or close to two years to do it. If it was weak, it would have been fought up a long time ago. But I don't know. When, I, when we came back from all that, the hacking was done but the mean words on the films and written on the films on the fairway were ongoing and then came the fake flagging or the fake telling and this was back before YouTube gave you a warning and free strikes this was back when you just got the free strikes and you were done and this was back when YouTube was not the way they were now and they would fall for it and they would uh and anyone who flagged anything youtube would believe it if it was true or not so then they started 
fake tell fake you know fake telling me that I was fake gossiping to YouTube that I was doing wrong and I would <clears throat> and that would start being a new thing then when they saw that they could get YouTube to take my fairway down instead of them doing it themselves they kept at it and this kept on going until his 20s heard between YL then they just gave up on that and I used to uh, read all this stuff on my films and on my fairway that was written and I once used to make films scathing them for the way they behaved and what they did but all that would do is just have them say that I was wrong that I was the one who was childish and I need to grow up even though they were guilty of bullying, making fun of, putting down and shaming. So I just stopped one day. Yeah, Dwayne just stopped one day. We just said, fuck it. We're no we're not gonna be bloody reading all their mean words they write down on our films on our fairway. We'll just take it all off. Then we'll just hush them. And this was before YouTube came along with the lock tool. The lock tool wouldn't show up until 23rd between YL. And even though it's only been around that long, it is a good tool. And ever since we stopped watching their films and reading what they wrote, we have been a more, this YouTube fairway has been around a lot longer and we've been a lot more happier. Now, why did we get bullied and picked on and shamed it? Do not know. The sake round or why never came up. But before I end this film, I am going to say that I forgive all of those haters. I forgive everyone for what they wrote on the films and on the fairway. And I forgive everyone for, every, for all the films everyone made. And I also forgive everyone for the fake, for the fake hacking, and I forgive them for the fake, for the the fake telling. But that doesn't mean that I thought it was right, since at the end of the day it was not. So that's it. And if you like this film, follow us here at Sailor Moon for Life, or watch the other film over here, where Sailor Jupiter made yesterday. I'm Sailor Venus Mina, and I hope you like this film. Bye.